Hey guys, Proper English here. I'm hanging out in the 1.4 pre-release and we're going to take a look at a shift register that I've built. We'll start off by entering some data, come over here and flip a couple of levers. And now we can save that to the repeater lock memory that I'm using over here by pressing this button. And we can see that now we're outputting our input over here. That's because we've saved it to the register. And so let's say that we want to shift this data over to the left. Well, what we can do is we can press this button over here, shift it over one. We can shift it to the right too. We can press this guy, and now we're shifting to the right. If we shift any of the data out, we're gonna lose it, but we don't have to have it that way. You can set up uh, measures to stop it from shifting if you've got data over here or data on this side. And we're not gonna worry about that today. We're just gonna take a look at how this thing works. So let's jump over here and take a look at how this thing is working using a very simple setup. All right, so I've got a demo set up over here so we can see how this thing works in a sort of exploded view. And so there is some repeater memory over here and we've got an AND gate. So this torch and this torch feed into this guy over here and that's our AND gate. And so we'll start by saving some data to our repeater memory. We'll turn this lever on and we can pulse this torch and now we've saved it because this repeater turned off for a brief period of time and the data came through and then we locked it in there. We can turn our input off and now we've got an output, even though the input is off. And so that is saving the data to this memory. But now if we want to shift it, well, that's where the AND gate comes in. So one input to the AND gate is on that says this bit has data, all right? And so when we pulse this torch over here, that's the other input to the AND gate that says shift the data. And so when that happens, the output to the AND gate turns on, that's the input to this next bit over here. And at the same time as that turns on, this torch turns off and we can save it to this repeater. So let's try pulsing the monostable over here. And there we go, we've shifted it over one, beautiful. And so to do this in the opposite direction, you're just gonna set up another AND gate going back this way. And so over here, I've got that set up in a two wide format. It's pretty compact, but take a look at it. I've got a world download in the description and see if you can compact it a bit more. I'm betting that there's something that can be done. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.